Over the 44 years of your priesthood, you've seen the church change in many ways. And uh, how would you see it moving now? In what direction do you think it is moving? What are, what are the main uh, pointers or the main uh, trends that you think we're moving in? Well, I, I hope I see only one way that is a, a growing contemplative uh, mentality in our church. I think we have so many doctrines, so many documents now, that even many people never read even. But uh, do people really enjoy the presence of God? Can God be enjoyed? Can God be experienced? I often think, and I have said that more than once, that I think our church in a certain way has well, maybe let people down. Maybe you have taught people how to say prayers. But I'm afraid not help people to pray, to, to communicate with God, to, to dwell in God, and to experience God. And I do not see any other or any better way for the moment than, than do I prefer the word contemplation sometimes rather than meditation. In my Vocabulary, the word meditation sounds too much tax intellectual. Meditating is like thinking about. And contemplation for me is more holistic. My whole being, heart, mind, soul, and body is more involved, I think, in, in, the, in the usage of the word contemplation. So I prefer to use the word contemplation rather than, than meditation. When you uh, share these thoughts and this vision, with other priests, generally, how do they respond? Well, I have not often shared that with many priests. Uh, occasionally, there are some, and some say it is too difficult, or, or uh, I cannot uh, focus enough on, on that. So I, I think it is a matter of, well, call it now, being generous with God, Give God a chance, no? Give God a chance to reveal himself in your life by creating space and silence that nothing else uh, distracts you from uh, experiencing the presence of God and enjoying the presence of God. There's a great danger, I think, that priests may think, well, since I am a, a priest, I studied Bible, I studied theology, uh, is that not too simple for me, no? To, to just sit there for half an hour and, and repeat one simple word. And, and there I would think, well, it is absolutely simple. That is why it is the best way. The, the, the poverty, the absolute poverty, the absolute simplicity of, the, of this meditation, I believe, no? Leads to absolute joy. Nothing and nothing and nobody, uh, well, distracts us, no? Uh, pulls us away from God. Even the text that, that I came to my mind this afternoon by, by uh, Peter no, asked the Lord, Lord, I have given up everything, house, family, wife, you know, land, houses, what do I get? And I think the answer is no thing. You receive God. So when you let go of everything else, your desires, your your plans, your, your dreams, your ambitions, your attachments, when you let go of everything, then you get God. And that is Therese of Avila's word. No, when we have God, we lack nothing. Then we are complete. We know uh, through the experience of the world community that contemplation is a universal gift, a universal path. And the vast majority of uh, Meditation groups are led by lay people. There are many priests uh, and, and sisters who also lead groups or support groups. But there's often a feeling that um, uh, among the laity that uh, more support from the priests would be very helpful. And especially, I think, in the Catholic Church, there's where the role of the priest is, is very strong, of course in deciding what goes on in a parish. Uh, do you have any thoughts about how priests could be uh, encouraged or introduced uh, into a 
more supportive role, even if it's a background role or even a leading role in uh, teaching meditation? Well, first of all, I would not be too much worried that this movement is led by lay people. I think in the church history, often the lay people have saved the church. So, and if really they have an authentic experience of God in their meditation, it will flow over, I would say, also in their relation with the priest. And I think the lay people can often invite and motivate the priest no, to share with them or, or invite them to share with them and, and come, come with in, into their meditation groups. So it's a gift, really, that the lay person can yeah, share with I the priest so. if the priest yeah. is open to it. Yeah.